Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to my YouTube channel and I am very happy and delighted to have you on board. This is October. I'll be doing a series on something that is very core, very important and vital in especially in those who are relating, those who are married, those who are married, those who are in active or rather very intimate, mature and reasonable relationships where sex is part of it. I want to talk about sexual dysfunctions, not to demean anyone, but to just raise awareness that it is possible things could not be adding up because of one, two, three. And when you get to know it, then seek help. But before we start, there's a song that really encourages my heart, sung by Paul Clement. It says, Aminifania Amani, he has given me peace. And I think the most important thing for you as an individual is to have peace. When you have peace, many things are going to work out for the best. And it's just a chorus you're going to do, and then we'll get to the, we'll get to the, to the gist of it. Okay, guys. All right. Sometimes you have to declare peace, okay? And don't just live a life where you're full of anxiety and no peace at all. They say that Raha Najifa Mwenyewe. with what you refer to as delayed ejaculation something that affects men it's not common it's quite rare but it's one thing that can be worked on can be treated can be cured and will help you live a fulfilling a satisfying sexual life where you're contented now what is delayed ejaculation just from the word there is delay in ejaculation or there is infrequency or absence, complete absence of ejaculation. And you have to know what is ejaculation. Involves three main things. You have emission of seminal fluid, and then you have it traveling through your urethra, and then being expelled, expulsion, okay? And so we have a series of events that take place. To make sure that once the seminal fluid has been released from your glands as a man, it moves in an anti-grade manner, meaning it moves forward and doesn't get to go back to places it's not supposed to be. Delayed ejaculation, when you have more than 20 to 25 minutes of sexual activity that involves vaginal penetration with no ejaculation, in a person who has not desired to delay it and in a way that causes you a lot of distress because of not achieving that which you desire to achieve, okay? And for one to diagnose that you indeed have delayed ejaculation, you know, sometimes these things could happen because of other factors, but then it gets to a point where it becomes a chronic thing that actually has to be dealt with. So what you refer to as the DSM-5 Diagnostic Statistical Manual actually puts it as delayed ejaculation where one is unable, there's that delaying, delay 
or one isn't able to ejaculate and this happens in almost 70 to 80 percent of all your partnered sexual activity not that if it just happens once no in 70 to 80 percent of your partner sexual activities you find that you have issues with delaying ejaculating and then the other thing is that it takes it has to be there for at least six months and the third thing is that you don't desire to delay it the fourth thing is that it causes a lot significant distress to the person who is experiencing that and the other thing is that it cannot be better explained by either a medical condition or substance use now so some of the things that could cause or could be actually making you have delayed ejaculation number one is where you have insuff allow me to group it as psychogenic factors and organic factors so psychogenic majorly dealing with the mental aspect of it and then organic dealing with the disease part of aspect of it so a psychogenic number one you find that at times people have insufficient mental stimulation or insufficient physical stimulation when i talk about insufficient physical stimulation then i'm talking about specifically penile stimulation a theory by a renowned scientists called mastens and johnson and according to them is that sometimes you have people who experience reduced penile stimulation and as such end up with um, delayed ejaculation. In such cases, it has actually been suggested that you can do penile vibratory stimulation and that could help, okay? And then the second thing is people who have unusual patterns of masturbation. Unusual patterns of masturbation could actually put you at risk of delayed ejaculation and in one research that was done, this is people, this is more especially in those who have high frequency masturbation more than three times a week masturbation. So you find that they tend to get satisfaction from that and tend to shun away from heterosexual kind of sexual activity. And then the third thing is people who have had past fears or those who are hostile towards their partners. You find yourself very hostile towards your partner, it could actually contribute to delayed ejaculation. And the other thing is if there are other associated psychiatric conditions, things such as depression, major depressive disorder could also put you at risk of that. Organic issues, I'll talk about some diseases, chronic diseases, which could actually put you at risk, some surgical conditions, trauma, especially where you get injury to the spinal cord and, you know, parts of it that control that ejaculatory process are destroyed then it actually becomes very hard for you to ejaculate at the right time and the other thing is drugs especially antidepressant drugs some specific classes of antidepressant drugs have highly been associated examples being the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors drugs like phloxetine paroxetine okay now the good thing with this is that when you know the cause then you can actually treat it if you are experiencing delayed ejaculation i want to encourage you don't give up you know just take that step of strength and then go and seek help we have pharmacological management where you can be given drugs and you can also have a psychological approach towards it so don't just sit there and pity yourself no but just take that step go and see a psychologist go and see a doctor be open and i believe at the end of it all will all be okay thank you so much guys if you have not subscribed please remember to do so and i really really love you guys